Hey, what's going on, folks? And no, you are not at the wrong channel. This is still just my opinion with Ryan. But as you can see from the look of things, just wanted to give things a bit of a change of pace. Um, I've been editing for quite some time and I wanted to create like a short how to video for anyone else who is just starting out uh, editing with Adobe Premiere Pro and just to let them know some of the shortcuts that can help your editing experience and make it a lot smoother. And there are so many shortcuts that you could choose from. I don't want to really, you know, try to overdo so many shortcuts in one video. So I'm going to take my time and we're going to go over some basic shortcuts in every video. So in this video, for example, I'm just going to go over four quick, very, very quick shortcuts. I'm going to go over the end point and your out point, as well as the up and down arrow and how that could help navigate you throughout your timeline. So with that being said, let's get started. We're going to start with the end point and the out point. If you notice in this upper left window that has the scary looking zombies, this is your window that has stuff that you can preview before actually putting it on your main timeline. So I'm gonna highlight that upper left window. And as you can see, I already have my indicator placed where I want uh, some action to take place or some editing to take place, right? So where you see this blue tab, you can just move it wherever you want, it doesn't matter. But for the sake of what I wanna do, I want to start my main timeline with these zombies. If that's what I wanna do and not add the whole clip like so, we don't want to do that. You simply add your end point and then your out point. So where that blue triangle is, I'm going to push the letter I. Now, after I push the letter I, you notice to the everything to the right of that uh, triangle is now a light gray look, has a light gray look to it, right? So this is where I want my end point to go. End point meaning I in not endpoint as in Nancy. So now I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And you know what? I want my clip to end right here. Where you want your clip to end, you hit the letter O. O is for out point. So once again, I is for endpoint. O is for out point. And now when you add it to the timeline, it is just that section that is added. Boom. Simple as that. I'm going to delete this. Now, okay, now what about the up and down arrow and how, how does that come into effect with this video? If you want to, for example, any reason, go back to the beginning of the endpoint, hit the up arrow. Boom. And so now it goes back there just in case you want to maybe double check about your, what, your, what, what, what it looks like with your endpoint. And then hit the down arrow to see where the video will end. Also, with the end and out point, you can hover over any part of uh, the in and out point and you can adjust it however you see fit. So now that shorter clip that we added a few moments ago, add to the timeline now, a little longer, obviously. And so just to recap, that's literally all I'm going over today. So I'm gonna delete that one more time. And I want to make some uh, new endpoints and out points. So let's say I wanted to go right here where the blue uh, indicator is. Hit I to indicate your endpoint. Move it over. Uh, about right here. O for your out point. Now you have your video. And also the same uh, shortcuts apply no matter whether you are here or here. You notice we have our blue indicator right here. Same blue indicator that looks like that, but just a longer version. I'm gonna hit up twice to get to the beginning of this clip. Up goes to the very end of it. Hit up again. Now you're at the beginning of it. Definitely not starting there because it looks crazy. And you can even even in this timeline, you can set your end point, which is I again, and your out point, wherever you want. 
You can still adjust your endpoint and outpoint just like you could in that smaller window. So that is literally what we're doing today. I hope this was very informative to whoever comes across this video. This is Ryan. Please subscribe to the channel if there's any type of basic Adobe Premiere tips you need. Also, just for entertainment, maybe you, you want to hear a few interesting takes or perspectives on some of the latest movies and shows or whatnot. Hit the channel. Holler at your boy. This is Ryan with Just My Opinion. Peace.